You know what really sucks? Working in a hot shop in the middle of summer or working in a freezing cold shop in the middle of winter up here in Michigan. However, we're gonna solve that problem today by installing the DIY mini split, ductless mini split from Mr. Cool. Let's get started. Before we could install the outdoor unit, we needed to make sure that we had a nice space for it to go. So what we did was we poured a four inch slab of concrete. We started by framing it out just with two by fours and made sure everything was nice and level and then came back and mixed up a bunch of concrete bags and poured it. I think it took us about five bags of, 80 pound bags of concrete in order to do a two foot by four foot slab. So when it came to installing the indoor unit, I wanted to make sure that we could add drywall later whenever we get around to that. So what I did was I spaced it off the wall with a piece of plywood, uh, I believe it was half inch to match the thickness of the drywall that will be going up there. And I cut it a little bit smaller than the outline of the unit and that way the drywallers will be able to tuck the drywall up behind the unit and it will look like drywall continues throughout the back of it. So normally this system is actually designed to go on an exterior wall and you can punch a hole straight through an exterior wall and then run your lines outside. However, we're, luckily enough, we're lucky enough to have access to the walls. So we were able to hang that unit on an interior wall and then route the piping um, in some dead space that we have and down this wall and out and under right beside the compressor. So all of our line, our extra line, is stored inside. Now the unit comes with 25 feet of line, so it's even good even if you wanna install it in a second story room. Um, now the nice thing is that we were able to install it in an interior room and keep all of that line, like I said, stored in our dead space um, and run down this wall and be able to bring the line out right at where the compressor is gonna be set. So you've got these pre-charged lines. You've also got a drain line that we have to route outside as well. Um, since the majority of that drain line is actually gonna be inside, we're going to wrap some insulation around that and make sure that it doesn't sweat over time. So with the indoor unit set, the outdoor unit set, and the lines routed, to wrap up the installation, all we've got to do is connect the lines to the compressor, as well as the power line that goes back to the indoor unit, route out our drain line and make sure that that's appropriately pitched, seal everything up, and then crack the lines and let the refrigerant go throughout the system.
All right, so now it's time to tie it into the panel. Now, I am not a certified electrician by any means. However, I've been watching this process and I'm pretty comfortable with doing this. If you don't feel comfortable with it, make sure that you sub this one out and get a professional to come in here and wire it up. Now we've already got, uh, we're in the process of wiring up this panel, like I said, so we've already got the wire ran over to where we need it or to the outside, to the disconnect that's outside. This is our wire and now we have to tie it into the panel. I've got a 30 amp breaker that I'm going to be plugging in and since the outdoor unit is 220, that means that it has two hot wires, um, two 110 hot wires combined make 220. Um, we are going to be using a double pole breaker. So we're going to be tying in the two hots into the breaker, the ground into the ground bar and the common into the common wire. However, we're not going to be using a common wire for this application. So it'll just be wire nutted off at the other end. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and strip this wire all the way back to where it right after it enters into the panel. Uh, we'll take the insulation off and expose the wires and be able to run our power to our uh, breaker, both the, in this application, we've got a red, a black, and a white. Our white is the common, the red and the black are the two hots, and then we've got our copper wire, which is gonna go to our ground bar right over here. And so I've got my wires kind of, these are the two hot wires. I've got them kind of routed where I wanted to. And then I took a little piece of insulation, that way, um, since the panel is not labeled, uh, right now, we're going to just kind of mark where, uh, what wires are what, so we know which circuits go to where. Um, so I've marked that. I'm going to cut this to length. We'll tie it into our breaker, tie the ground into the ground bar and the common into the common, and we're good to go. Okay, so I've got my breaker in place and now I'm going to neatly put all of this wire back in place so we can continue to wire up this panel um, over the next few weeks. And we're gonna put this back together, put our cover on and then flip the breaker and make sure everything works. That's a good sign. better sign. So I've just enabled the Wi-Fi connectivity with the unit. And the cool thing is there's a little Wi-Fi adapter that goes in there. You can connect it through an app to your Wi-Fi, and then you can control this all remotely. So when I get up in the morning, I can hit um, that I want to set the temperature for out here and when, by the time I have breakfast and come out here It should be nice and cooled down um, The other nice thing is that you can set schedules So if I am I've already got a set, schedule set for 8 p.m. Every night this thing goes off So we're not wasting energy throughout the throughout the night uh, while nobody's out here It also follows things like your filter status and when that needs to be changed um, overall very nice unit to have and having the Wi-Fi connectivity is definitely a plus. So if you wanna check out more on Mr. Cool and all the DIY units that they offer, make sure you hit the link in the description. And also there's a video right here that YouTube thinks you'll like and I do too. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button over there. And if you want a full written tutorial on how to install this unit, make sure you hit this button right here. Until next time, be safe and happy building.